What's going on YouTube? Exo here, along with the red Wi-Fi, as you can see. Um, I wanted to talk about something. I've already tried to shoot this video like five times and it just gets too rambly, but I um, wanted to talk about something. And, but before we get into that, uh, if you're coining still, if you use Aptoid, links, uh, instructions be in the description. Promo code CODE5, all capitals, that'll get you up to 25% back. Um, anyways, we, I'm sure a lot of people seen my video or my post for my account for sale, and kind of what that was about was uh, what we're going to talk about today, and I call it kind of knowing your lane. Um... To me, Ebony is kind of like a highway. You know, if you've got a three lane highway, generally your left lane is your fastest lane. People are going to go over the speed limit. They're going to pass people in that lane. Um, so that's kind of like your wells and your krakens that are big spenders. Um, big spenders and big farmers. Middle lane is. Uh, you know, you're doing the speed limit. You might be doing five over, but you're not in, you know, a huge hurry. And I kind of see that as like the $500 a month up to like $2,000, $2,500 a month spender. Um, but probably on the lower end, you know, the guy that's spending 500 to to 1000 a month. But every now and then make, you know, do a full cake. And then the, the far, far right lane, you're just slow lane. You know, they're not in a hurry at all. They're probably doing the speed limit or under the speed limit. And those are your free-to-play to $500 spenders. Um, those are the guys that spend here and there. And red Wi-Fi again. But those are the guys that are spending here and there. And they're not really making it anywhere. And, um, you know, the, the left lane, the fast guys, generally... Those guys have no issues making into all stars. Um, is if they've got a decent team behind them, you know they're definitely making to all stars. If not, they figure out how to solo their way into all stars. And so, you know, I'm not really speaking to that crowd. Um, the the middle road guys, you know, they might be they're I, I consider myself a middle of the road. I know it's crazy being 22 bill being considered middle of the road, but I've got average buffs, you know, or well, pre <laughs> pre K 45, I have average buffs. Um, but you know, I, you know, if at, let's say we'll go to my server's power middle of the road is what I consider from rank um, 8 to you know some of these guys are a little higher like Miller and Sky and Oasis they're the top three corners on the server or all was at one time they've all slowed down but early on they've spent the most um, so those three are kind of your left lane um, then you got the rest of us kind of in the middle lane that are rank eight and up basically so some of us so like ministry and she they kind of struggle every season to score enough points to get an all-stars because it's something like 25 to 30 thousand points per boc to get an all-stars now well at their size as crazy as it sounds at 12 billion their size they just don't have the troops anymore hardly um you got to have the troops or you got to have the defense to take a you know a dozen defense wins and the troops to join some rallies to make it um and where i'm going with this is like these basically like myself early on I wanted to 
be like these top spending guys and being able to set rallies and have, you know, 2,500% attack on Archer and um, things like that. But I never spent enough to have that. I didn't have the gear and I didn't have the, um, the rune stones to do the generals or the, you know, or the good generals, things like that. So I had to, you know, pick my lane. I had to go, okay, well, I'm not a fast lane person. I need to get in the middle of the lane and slow down a little bit. And when I did that, I feel like I went from being a little bit more of a selfish player trying to be in the fast lane to being more of a team player realizing, all right, I'm a good middle lane person, player. You know, I can, uh, if I have to here and there, my rally capacity is big enough and my you know buffs are okay enough that I can hit the smaller players 10 bill and under and do pretty good damage some of the bigger players you know I can at least take an extra rally or two um, and then I think so a lot of people just don't realize that you know you have to uh, kind of pick your lane figure out where you're at and don't you know just don't do don't try to I guess just don't try to be in a lane that you're not supposed to. Um, the low, you know, the lower lane, I get this a lot because I, I post some videos on YouTube and people are always like, oh, well, you're the YouTube expert because you make videos or, you know, tease me about that stuff, whatever. And I'm no expert at this shit. I'm just, I played it for three years. Um, I spent a lot of time early on um, deep diving into videos, uh, old forums, old discords, things like that. Uh, because three years ago, there wasn't the the um, information that there is now three years ago. And luckily, I was with a group. I started with a group of veterans that were had played for several years already that restarted. So they taught me a lot. Um, and so I get a bunch of people asking, you know, I had one guy want me to come to his server. He was in C2 and he's been playing for about three years and he's never been to all stars, has no dragons. And he spent like $45,000 on the game and he can't make all stars. So I said, well, you know, send me some screenshots of your stuff and you know, what's your highest score you've ever made in BOC? And um, he's like, oh, I've scored like 10,000 points one time. And I'm just like, bro, you're you're dreaming too big. You are you spent the money, yeah, but you spent it poorly. He's, he was only, he's not even K40. He's not big power player. Only could score 10,000, like, and only scored like one time 10,000. In C2, you got to score like 30,000 around to make all stars, major league all stars. And he wasn't settling for junior or elite. He wanted to be a major. And I just, I had to break it to him like, dude, sometimes you have to take a step back and realize my group of, uh, my group that I'm with aren't all motivated the same way. Also, I'm just not big enough. Like, looking at his keep, yeah, he spent a lot of money. Um, and I can actually show you um, this guy right here. Not lock. 2.7 billion K37, and he's VIP 17. Got a ton of money spent, you know, nearly as much as me. I just hit VIP 18, but I'm 10 times its size because I spent well, played well, and, you know, things like that. And that's kind of what this other guy, he's he's a slow lane player, but never, never took the time to have the mindset of, I'm not, I'm a slow lane player. I'm not going to be able to make that. And instead of asking himself how to make that, 
uh, he spent three years trying to figure it out and spent a bunch of money and kind of ruined it. So he asked me what he should do, and I just told him, I said, if that's your goal, it's All-Stars. I said, instead of spending more money on his keep and his server that can't do it, go out to another server and buy account. And sometimes that's the thing to do is um, when you're a right lane, you know, the slow lane player, um, you have to realize you need to play this game for other reasons than all-stars. Well, specifically um, Major League All-Stars. Junior League, now they've added Junior League and Elite League. The slow lane guys can make that. The Elite League starting to get filled up with a lot of the old Major players that are kind of slacking off. But you can still get into Elite and you can still get into um, Major or not sorry you can still get into junior and major league elite league I'm getting tongue tied trying to send these tiles but I gotta get my level 16 per day done so um, so if you're you're a slow lane player you need to realize there's there's kind of three things that you can do um, you can be a you know become a boss killer if you enjoy that, kill, you know, hunt bosses, kill bosses for your your alliance. Um, SVS, you know, these guys that are around three to five billion power, that's kind of a nice, you know, build you a good T1 wall, build you, get the refines done, and you can have a lot of fun in SVS with that because these big players like myself see, a, say, a three billion and just swing without scouting and then we run into your 500 million t1 cav and we lose and you win and you're ahead we had a guy that did that and he won us two svs's in a row with his two billion power keep or 2.9 billion or whatever he is He's not a big player at all but honest to god he scored damn near all the points for the server um another thing those right lane players can do is you know Fill in, you know, be a filler in Battlefield for your alliance. Um, come Chalons, like Chalons is coming up. Show up for Chalons. Chalons is a great uh, team, uh, you know, event. Instead of, like, All-Stars is just pushing one person or a few people. Like, my alliance, we're big enough. We get big enough opponents. We would normally push, like, ten people, but... Um, Salons is great because kind of everybody gets to everybody gets to play and it's you know everybody's kind of fair so you know try to figure out how to be a good filler for your alliance if you're you know in that right lane um, or come to terms that you know you you can probably make elite league a couple of seasons in junior league not spend very much yeah you won't you won't get the uh, dragon immediately. Yeah, you won't get that dragon immediately. But, you know, over a couple seasons, and they're having all-stars like every four months now or something like that. After a couple seasons, you'll get the galaxy tokens to um, get laden. You know, you can get the next dragon. Um, the only other alternative outside of that is is if you really want to be in a major league player is look at changing servers don't um uh, it sucks i know it does but it might be time to you know save a couple thousand bucks and then buy a keep in a bigger alliance you know all these other alliances they've always got keeps for sale the in like rsp and nfg and things like that and you'll get into an alliance that will be able to help you push and you can buy a big k40 um uh keep that's maybe you know 12 billion power or whatever has got some stuff done to it and you might be sitting over here at k37 and two bill power and can't grow enough so you know when you're playing you got to 
just remember pick your lane figure out what lane you're in you know like i said generally the lower spenders or the slow lanes um, you just got to realize you're probably in that situation you're probably never going to make major league all-stars as unfortunate as it sounds um if and like i said if you want to do if you want to um be in that spot you know might look at moving servers or is something like that uh, the middle lane guys you know if you're if you're just shy of you know say you score 20,000 points around and your continent's 25,000 around needed the thing to do between now and next all-stars would be um, working on your siege attack and your range attack and your cav attack on offense especially if you're a big rallying team get those three up and get the you know get them get them higher so in your rallies you hit better and then also look at all right how many how many um marches of range do i have like full preset marches of range do i have without healing you know, some some guys they'll ask me like, um, "What should I build? What should I build?" And I'll look at their their top tiers, and they're you know scattered all over the place. And I my rule of thumb is I have I take my preset and I multiply it by how many ever marks I want without healing it. So like right now I have like ten or eleven marks without healing, or something like that. So, some of the, you know, if you're, if you're just barely missing the Major League All-Star points, you may just take that tip, figure out, you know, you might be a little T14 heavy on your archers, and you could build some T12s and T13s, some more T12, T13 archers, and go from say five marches without healing to eight because you're already T14 heavy and it T12s and 13s don't cost a whole lot. And that's what I've done is I've always, I'll, my T14s are a little lower because I base it on how many, I'm, I'm very good at, and this also depends on you too. I'm very good at dogs and rallies. I can have several marches out and I can get them, I can see a rally set on me. I can generally, if the game allows it, get all my marches back and move with time left and just watching them, you know, miss me. Um, if you're a player like that, you don't really need the heavier T14s, but, um, so if you're in the middle lane and you're, you know, you're close to that all-stars, um, or, you know, you're close to red wings or bog wings. You know, just kind of look at things, small things like that. You know, pushing your buffs a little higher. So when you're you're in the rally, you're doing a little bit more damage than the, the guy that's right above you, you know. Um, if you can if you can hit, you can join three more rallies than he can without healing. Because um, generally, most people won't heal in just a regular battlefield. So if you can join a few more rallies without healing, you you should be um, score ahead. Or even you might be able to, like me, every now and then I've started soloing here recently, um, and so you can spare a few marches. Um, you guys that are already making all stars in the middle lane, don't slack off. Um, there's plenty of people behind you wanting to take your spot and this last all-star is we I seen it I seen some guys from two all-stars ago that I was like man these are some great players and they got they got bumped down to elite league because they kind of they kind of relaxed and was like oh I'll make it you know things like that and they ended up not making it um, a lot of it has to do with your, who you get paired in with BOC but you know, getting complacent also does it. Always be, you know, just this yesterday, or not yesterday, this morning, with these uh, new buffs. 
I check this thing like every two or three days and seeing if I've got more blood crystals. Well, I got on this morning and uh, I had, you know, a hundred and I had like 190, 200 of these. Well, I got on this morning and it was, you know, I was level 19 and I was looking and I said, oh, well, you know, I can get this two and a half percent. You know, I went from 10% to 12 and a half. That's two and a half percent. It's not much, but when I'm doing two and a half percent every three or four days, you know, 5% a week, things like that. And actually I'm about to move over here cause it's cheaper. I wanted to get this one all 20. So all these are unlocked. And next I'm going to move to one of these to where it's a little cheaper. Um, you know, people are like, oh, a few percent don't add up. But in, in reality, it does. Just get them when you can. Um, and like I said, my thrive to um, keep moving up. Don't get complacent. And if you've, you know, if you're stuck on an island, as some people say, and and I'm going to say this as, uh, like, the guy that was asking for help in C2. He's stuck on an island. He's the only one that wants to do PvP on his server. Because the other PvP guys quit. Or they went to a server. They got rid of their account and they went to a server with better PvP. Well, now he's left and can't do anything by himself. So don't be on that island. Try to get off the island. Even if it means, you know, leaving your keep behind. Or... You don't have to get rid of it. You can still play it, but get you a keep somewhere else to where you can be more competitive. Um, hopefully this wasn't too much of a ramble. Um, like I said, I've recorded this several other times, and it was way more of a ramble. Um, but just the state of the game right now, um, I know I had my keep for sale. Uh, I've I kind of did that because... I got caught up trying to be in the fast lane um, and then K45 come out I got excited and I was like oh there's no way I'm gonna be in the fast lane because I can't keep up with these guys because so many people went to you know straight to K44 um, K43 42 41 whatever and I'm not able to do that I just don't have the the, the stuff to do that and even if I do get K41 I really can't do a whole lot as far as the military academy six because i don't have the tactics because i don't spend enough and i'm not willing to spend enough anymore but i kind of took a step back i had some offers on the keep um some really low some okay um but i kind of took the step back and was thinking about it and i was like i love the regardless of the updates i love the game um, I'm going to miss it. I already, <laughs> I already have was think, you know, already thinking, well, you know, if, if I do sell, I can fill in, you know, battlefield here, battlefield there, blah, blah, blah. But then I just started thinking, yeah, you're going to do this. You're going to sell. And then in a month from now, here I am going to be rebuilding a keeper. I'm going to be trying to buy a keep. So why I sell when I know I'm that's how I'm going to do so I just kind of spent a lot of time to myself and reflected and you know decided all right get out of that fast lane or you know stop trying to keep up with the fast lane come back down to the middle middle lane slow it down get in get into the pace that you're supposed to be in and have fun with that and that's what I did and um Saturday night we had a great battlefield um, I think I took pretty sure let me look I took second place I believe I was first for a while and then they sky passed me yep I took second place um, sky passed me because they OFA had a hard on to try to zero everybody even though they were losing and so you know, Sky being 10 billion bigger and things like that, he scored a little bit more. But, um, yeah, just remember, if you're getting getting frustrated, uh, kind of pick your lane. You know, maybe take a step back, 
evaluate where you're at in the game and like I said just pick a lane and figure out um, where you're supposed to be uh, you know not everybody not everybody could be the top one percent and not everybody should be so just um, figure out where you're supposed to be and enjoy it remember it's just a game guys it's not I know a lot of us live for this shit but end of the day it's just a game um, and I, I, I have to tell myself this I get stressed out about it all the time and it's supposed to be fun so that's why you know I take breaks here and there um, and take a week off and you know take a couple battlefields off or only show for battlefield or things like that so but anyways uh, anybody's got any questions comments drop them in the description or uh, comment box below um, if you like the content I'd appreciate a subscribe and a like share this with your friends I'm trying to get up to a uh, thousand subs and uh, once we get to there we're gonna I'm gonna have uh, we've got some plans coming so I'll uh, fill y'all in maybe next video or the next one on what I have ideas for that. So I'll catch y'all later.